Um, but what I can do is I can just grab this thing. Notice this also says these font settings will be used when this page is viewed on a mobile device. So I can just shrink this sucker down like that. And, um, and now look, big headline when it's big, small headline when it's small. Thought we would take just a minute and uh, and just just crack out a video on exactly how to make sure your pages look great on mobile because it's something that everybody needs to do. With the new pages editor, we uh, sort of you know the old version of pages those blocks were mobily responsive. You couldn't you couldn't not make them mobily responsive. We took care of that. But then the the trade off was that we we didn't let you edit the blocks very much. You can change out the text and change out the photos, but you couldn't move things around. So with the new pages editor, we uh, we gave you you know, basically unlimited power to make the pages look like anything you could ever want. You know, on the flip side, you do need to take a little more responsibility to make sure that what you've done isn't going to look funky on a mobile device. Now, typically things will look good or pretty good anyway, just by themselves. Uh, you won't need to do much because uh, the whole system is built uh, on a, in a framework that is that is mobily responsive. So it's rows and columns. And when you squish it down, um, you know, these columns kind of collapse and things that are side by side, like this column here, will end up moving down and moving underneath this video as we as, as it becomes mobile responsive. And these guys will eventually end up on top of each other. They'll kind of collapse down and, and make a vertical stack of, of columns. That's kind of how mobile responsive responsiveness works. So if we click on this mobile button, you'll see that's what happened here. This little form got went underneath the, the video as we discussed. Those uh, four horizontal logos are now on top of each other. And that just happens automatically. And so it's not something that you normally need to worry about. But there are definitely ways that you can, you know, set your page up so that, you know, things don't look look um, great. For example, what if we, um, you know, just made this headline huge? Uh, maybe we change this to be like, you know, really big, something like that. And, uh, and there we go. And then if we put it on, um, yeah, so we've already set, see this page, I'm cheating here a little bit because this is already all set up to be nice. Um, you know what, as a matter of fact, I don't want to cheat. Let's just start with a start from scratch page so you can see exactly what's going to happen if you, if you do start from scratch. So let's, uh, let's make a block that looks like this one that we were just looking at. Um, and that would be something that looks like, I don't know, let's just start from scratch and then we'll go in here. We'll add another row, we'll add a column, we'll add another row with four columns. All right, I think it's something like that, right? It was the four logos, a headline, a video, a form. Maybe the, maybe it's a little more like that. So we're going to just drop this stuff in here. Um, a video, which is here. Drop that in there. We've got, I think there was a little bit of uh, sub-headline and some text there. And maybe a form field. Um, and we can just copy those, maybe make it two or three. And then a button. Okay, we're just kind of throwing together a page real quick. Um, obviously, the spacing is is uh, a little tight, so we'll we'll just shrink that down a little bit. And let's see, down below there was a those four logos, so that was going to be an image like that. And then we'll just copy it, and drag it over here, and copy it again, and drag it over here, copy it again. Drag it over there. Um, maybe we can just find a little uh, logo-y kind of image, something like what? Um, do we have a little digital marker logo? Um, here, here's an entrepreneur logo, the old logo. Um, and yeah, actually, let me just let me just do that again with the actual logo. So we'll copy that, move it over. Copy that, move it over, copy that, move it over. All right, very nice. We're looking good here. We got ourselves a page. Now, what happens when I make this mobile responsive? Okay, um, so like I said, it's not bad. It kind of pretty much works itself out, didn't it? Um, 
So there's actually not a ton you need to do in this particular case, but let's just pretend that it wasn't working out good. What I want you to see is that there are um, a ton of mobile settings. So when you're looking at the desktop view and you go to change the headline, say I change it to a sub headline or I change the headline to um, you know, this custom font that's gonna be way bigger or something like that. Uh, and then I go to mobile. Okay, that's the kind of thing that we don't wanna see, right? Now we've really screwed it up. Big headline, go to mobile, not good. So what do we do? Notice that the mobile, the, the font style settings up here changed. They went from font style like this to mobile font style when we um, when we uh, are over here. So what that means is if you take this and you can edit these, this is the, the, the fonts for, for the mobile version. So you can actually edit this headline style and make it smaller for mobile devices. Make it maybe a little less, right? Font size, save. That's weird, let's see what happened here. Is this not, did I do this wrong? Subheadline, 37, font size, line height, auto. Uh, there we go. Um, this isn't changing in real time. I don't, I'm not sure why. Um, well, what I can do, oh, it's because I made it into a custom font. I screwed it up. Um, but what I can do is I can just grab this thing. Notice this also says these font settings will be used when this page is viewed on a mobile device. So I can just shrink this sucker down like that. And, um, and now look, big headline when it's big, small headline when it's small. Um, you'll also notice that if I select, you know, if I do any of these suckers, you know, I can, I can change this all up. I can change the line height. This is all mobile settings only. So when I go back to, to desktop, it's going to stay nice and big, and then it's going to be smaller. Now, also, if I move this stuff around, this is also only mobile settings. So watch this. Um, did you know that if that these, when I grab these corners of the, uh, the element, it's just editing these um, spacing settings here and you'll see that the left and right padding now says mobile so that means if i if i you know add some mobile padding that's not going to show up on desktop you can just set this stuff um, uniquely for uh for for each of the um you know the mobile and the desktop versions you've even got alignment so sometimes um you know people want to put here's an example of when you need mobile alignment say i were to go down here and I were to, um, you know, drop a social, let's see, let's make another, another um, column here, done. And I drop a social sharing thing and I wanna put that um, on the left. I wanna put that over there and, um, and then maybe some text underneath there, you know, or maybe on top. And I wanna say, um, you know, this is my like little, you know, about the company footer or something like that, right? Maybe it's like this, I slide that down, something like that. Um, and so that's like over there on the on the left, it looks fine. But when I put it in here, now it's all, all whacked out, right? So mobile styling, I don't wanna make that thing go wide. And then I click on that sucker and I go position and I can center this for uh, for mobile devices. That's how, it, you know, cause that looks a lot better, right? So it stays on the left um, in desktop, but then it gets centered on, on mobile devices automatically. Now, so basically all these, these settings here, you know, I can hover over these suckers and drag them around. I can shrink this guy, I can shrink this one, I can make some more space in between, whatever I wanna do, I'm only editing the mobile settings here. Um, so this is pretty powerful. Um, now I go back and you can see that I didn't change anything on the desktop version. Um, but the mobile settings look, look real nice. Um, so, you know, basically same situation goes for all of this. Now there's a one other area that I want you to uh, know about, and that is the block. So let's just say, for example, I, um, copy this whole block 
and now I've got two of the same block and it looks okay. I'm happy with it, but I go to mobile and I notice, um, you know, I don't know, in this case, it looks good. Again, it's most of the time, it's just going to look right. Um, so you don't need to worry about this stuff, but, um, but say I, I needed to have more or less space, you know, I wanted to have some more, more space on this block. Actually, you know what I'll do? Uh, maybe I can show you what I mean with this. I can go to the background and make it a, um, a solid complementary colored background. All right. And now we look like this. Okay, again, it doesn't look bad here. But say I wanted to have, um, you know, some more space between the blocks or something like that. Um, I can click edit block and I go to spacing and I and notice that there's desktop. This is the default um, screen that you see here, the desktop block spacing, but then you can also flip over to mobile block spacing. So uh, it says you, it's not going to show you because this is the desktop view, but you can add top and bottom padding and that's just going to add to the mobile version. And I can, maybe I want to remove my left and right padding and be done with that. And then I go back to the mobile view and you can see I've added a bunch of uh, space at the top there. I removed the padding on the left and right, which is probably not a great idea. Um, but I can just fix that here. And, uh, and, and you can see how that uh, is another way to manage your, um, your mobile kind of layout. I want to show you one last thing. Uh, and then we'll be just done with this because this is uh, pretty simple. Uh, and that is back to this page. Now, this page looks really nice. Um, notice how these check marks work. The check mark and then the, and then the logo over here. Check mark, lo uh, or not logo, but headline. Check mark, headline. And if you look at this, you'll see that it is, um, you know, one row across the top and then three columns here. And when those things collapse, they're going to collapse in a way that doesn't quite uh, work the way you expect it to. What's going to happen is that these three um, check marks are not going to go with the the um, the text here. They're going to get plopped underneath the 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 image here, and then those, these guys are going to get plopped underneath that. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, so boom. So this is not what we were going for, right? Uh, and there's nothing I can do in terms of spacing here to make this um, work right. You know what I'm saying? So this is just wrong. And um, and when you get a situation like that, there's another thing that you can do. And this is why we built um, the display settings. So in this particular case, what I would do is I would come in here and I'd say display settings and I'd show this block on a desktop only. Okay, so now that's my desktop block. And then what I do is I'd copy the block, come down here, I would, I would go back to this thing. This says desktop only because I just copied it. But now I'm going to make this block mobile only. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just delete this column. Boop. That's what it sounds like when you delete a column. I bet you didn't know that. And, um, and then what's going to happen here is that this block is going to show on desktops. And this block is going to show on, um, on mobile devices. You can see here, I, I, uh, that block just disappeared because I'm looking at the desktop view. So it's not here. This here is show me all the blocks. That's what this setting is. So it shows me the mobile version and the desktop version. This is showing me the desktop look. So the mobile block, the mobile only block is hidden. And if I go to the mobile, that mobile block, or sorry, the desktop block is hidden. And now we have just the mobile version. And look at that, those check marks are gone. Everything looks great again. Um, and and uh, and so we're happy campers. So that's kind of like your your uh, nuclear option if you really can't make the block look the way you want it to on uh, mobile devices. So this is um, again the situation where you may want to have this you know this guy um, be centered um, on the mobile on the mobile version, right? And maybe this contact us wants to be centered also. Um, make this a little smaller. Um, element width. Yeah, there we go. And we'll center that. Boom. Um, and so that's just going to be what it looks like on the mobile device. But if we come back here, we haven't screwed anything up on the desktop. So I think with those tips, you should pretty form buttons on each block. Good comment, Chris. I'm not sure what that means. But uh, yeah, form buttons on each block. I think that should uh, probably do ya in terms of making sure that your pages look great on mobile devices. The bottom line is just uh, all you got to do is look at it, make sure it looks good, move things around, 
confidently knowing that you're not going to be messing with the desktop page. You just grab stuff and move it around with these little, with these little dots here. Everything's going to work just the way you want it to. Uh, and then if you really run into a problem like the one I just showed you, then you can uh, resort to the um, desktop mobile. Okay, Chris says, we always get an error message. Form buttons on each block. I just don't know what you're trying to say there, Chris. Form buttons on each block. We always get an error message. I'm gonna guess what you mean is that you, is that you're discovering that you can't have two forms in one block. So um, this block here has a form, and if I try to put a second submit button on this in this block, it's gonna give me this this red can't drop here. If I try to drop it, it's not gonna work. Um, that's because you can only have one form in a block. The reason for that is that the submit button on a page needs to know what fields to submit when you click that button. And, and the way we figured that out is it's going to submit all the fields that are in that block. So all your fields and the submit button need to be in one block. When we're adding a form, it always tells us that we're missing something. I'm not sure what to say. When you add a form, you know, if it's telling you what you're missing, then I would add uh, whatever it is that you're missing. Um, you know, for example, if you add uh, form fields, let's say I add a block here and I drop some form fields on it. Um, first name, uh, last name, okay. Uh, obviously, this isn't a great style for this particular. Oh, you know, I'll do I'll just make the background a different color so you can see why, how that uh, is meant to look. Colors, complementary. Perfect. Um, now, if I go to um, publish this page, well, it's going to say, please name your page. That's helpful. Um, publish. Okay, save and publish. Okay, here it says, you are missing a form submit button in one of your blocks that contains form elements. Please add one and try again. Maybe that's the uh, message you're getting. And it's telling you exactly what to do there. So you need to add a submit button to, to this block because this, this form here doesn't have a submit button um, because you can't have the submit button and the form fields have to be contained in one block. I hope that answers your question, Chris. I think that's what you're trying to get at. Um, but now, of course, when I go to publish this page, it's going to um, it's going to work just fine. Um, and boom, there we go. Uh, so um, that was a little bit of an offshoot for mobile responsiveness, but uh, hopefully this will handle the questions about uh, mobile responsiveness on Ultra Pages, uh, 20 minutes flat. Talk to you next week or in the community. Cheers.